minute, allow yourself to receive the breath from all that is and give the breath back to all that is. Thank you, Baba. <clears throat> I want to start with a song that I wrote, Myrtle Beach, those wonderful woods that along that path that goes from the cabins that are centered around the original kitchen, across the bridge, and out to Baba's house. I walk that path many, many times. Matter of fact, I walk it now in my, in my dreams because I, my heart longs to be at the center so much. So... I wrote this and I sang it on that path. <clears throat> may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair roll, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba. May hair oh, oh, beloved, you are singing, you are walking, you alone. My beloved, I am dreaming, I am longing, take me home. May hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair oh, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair oh, oh, beloved. You are laughing, you are calling, you alone. My beloved, I am listening. I will follow, lead me home. May hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Oh, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair oh. Oh, beloved, you are restless, you are crying, you alone. My beloved, I am coming, finally, finally coming home. May hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair, oh, may hair Baba. May hair Baba, may hair Baba, may hair I forgot to mention at the top of this concert that sometimes when I'm singing for Baba, I get weepy. And, and it happens, it's not sadness, it's gratitude. The gift that you all give me by allowing me to do these concerts is that it's like as I prepare for them, my Baba life passes before my eyes and I become even more aware of how lucky I am, how personally he has led every step of the way, sometimes bringing me the gifts of understanding from 
my relationship with some of the Mandalay, sometimes bringing me the gift of understanding from his words, sometimes bringing me the gift of understanding in the moment I'm singing. And so that's where that comes from. And when that happens, just breathe with me and I will keep singing. So I want to, these are Baba's words. My message has always been and always will be love divine. When one wholeheartedly loves God, one eventually loses oneself in the beloved and enters the eternal life of God. Like a tree, such love has branches, branches of wholehearted devotion, perfect nonviolence, perfect selfless service, self-denial, self-sacrifice, self-renunciation, truth, and self-annihilation. In this love is embodied all the yogas known to saints and seekers. The highest aspect of this love, which surpasses that of love itself, is the aspect of complete surrender to the will of the beloved. That is absolute obedience to his wishes, whatever the cost. I am the master of my fate. No, I am the captain of my fate. Though I am not its master, I've lived too long to hesitate. And gladly I surrender when I think of all I've left behind. And everything he's taken, if asked, I'd walk each step again. Though it left me bruised and shaken, I still recall each helping hand, each gentle word encouraging, each step, each trial, a precious gift leading to this heart's awakening. Today I live the golden rule, though I once was young and brazen. My life was folly, I was a fool. Isn't grace amazing? more of Baba's words, one of my favorite short little passages um, from God Speaks. One of the few things I could understand in God Speaks. (laughs) I am not come to establish any cult, society, or organization, nor even to establish a new religion. The religion I shall give teaches the knowledge of the one behind the many. The book that I shall make people read is the book of the heart and holds the key to the mystery of life. I shall bring about a happy blending of the head and the heart. I shall revitalize all religions and cults and bring them together like beads on a single strand. Many branches, one love, one heart, one breath draws. I'm going to start over again. I need to shift my lyric sheet. 
I always have to use lyrics these days when I do concerts because one of the things Baba has turned the volume up on are my uh, empathic, my empathic nature. And I sometimes am overcome with the things I'm experiencing in the moment from audience people. So if I have the lyrics, I have an anchor that I can go back to. One tree, many branches, one love, one heart. One breath joins us together, here's where we start. One song, many voices, one world divine. One book, many stories, your life and mine. One love, one heart, one breath, one grace. One single source, one single light in every face. One earth, one sky, one life, one flame. So many dreams, so many fears, so many joys, so many tears. We are the same. One road, many journeys, one moon, one sun, one source, many children, one tree, just one, one tree, just one. One love, one heart, one breath, one grace, one single source, one single light, in every face one earth one sky one life one flame so many dreams so many fears so many joys so many tears we are the same one tree many branches one love one heart one breath joins us together here's where we start one tree many branches one tree many branches one tree many branches one tree just one Mayor Baba's words. This is a little bit longer a passage than I usually share in concerts, but it's a good one. <laughs> Baba said, this was from, uh, I don't know what book, but it's from Nasik in 1930, Baba said, Love me and you will know me. But I am such a reality that it is extremely difficult to know me. The price is love. No repetition of God's name, no penance, no meditation is necessary. Only love, and such love that it annihilates your ego. This means your love should be so deep that it makes you forget yourself and the world. This experience leaves you desireless, dazed, and confounded. This is real love. Real love, which is to see and know God, cannot be created. It has to be bestowed. It is bestowed through the grace of the Master, and such grace is conferred on a very, very lucky few. Still, do not be discouraged. Try always to remember me and to think of me. This is the best beginning. The determination to be ready to receive the master's grace. Ready to receive. Isn't that a beautiful combination of words? To be ready to receive the master's grace. If, if this continues, a day will come, Baba said, when you will be the lucky one to receive this great gift, the bestowal of my love. 
to be ready, perpetuate this feeling in your heart and increase it, making it deeper and deeper. Remember me before starting and after finishing any work. Think of me before doing anything. If you have something to write, remember me before starting. Then mentally say, Baba, it is you and not I who is writing. The price of knowing me is love, pure and simple love. The price of me is knowing me, love. <laughs> There's a kind of love that lingers Ever gentle through the years There is love that's filled with laughter There is love that's rimmed in tears Love is sometimes tender teacher Sometimes it tears apart Love that fills Love that empties, love alone that strains the heart. I'm a woman of conviction in a story not yet told. I'm an ancient country dreamer and I've found that pot of gold. See, I've always followed rainbows and that made me stand apart. Ever watching, ever waiting for that love that strains the heart. There's the pain of separation, there's the longing, there's despair. There's a moment of reunion, then it's gone. I don't care. I have lived a million lifetimes. I have lived a million lifetimes just to hold a tiny part of this love that changes everything. This love that strains the heart. So something that I was thinking this time, I don't usually tell my Bob, any of my, my own Baba story, but I was thinking that um, this time with your uh, permission, agreements, whatever, I'd like to share a couple of moments that I had with Mani and Mara because in putting this concert together, what I realized is that in these handful of very short moments with these two amazing spirit women. They shaped how I went forward musically in my life. Um, and uh, um, the first story is when I, when I was preparing to go to India, my first trip, <clears throat> sorry, little runny nose here. Um, I, I really, I had, just really come to know Baba. I dreamed about him when I was a child, three night dream all about Baba. And I saw his picture on a book when I was in my thirties and it totally freaked me out. And Bao was with him and he was, Bao was also in this dream when I was 17 years old. Um, and so as soon as I realized that this was the man I had dreamed about, um, I, I made it a point to get to India within a year. I borrowed money, I worked, jobs I you know you all know how that goes um, because I missed Baba but I had an opportunity to meet the Mandalay and I needed to get there to meet the Mandalay um, what year what year? Huh? what year Trisha are you talking uh, I think it it was in 84 maybe mm. My, uh, Mara was still alive it was uh, the last the only time I ever got to spend time with her was that trip so um, so 
all I had heard was what some of the Chicago Bible lovers had told me about, you know, and I don't know if you all know Carol Kovalovich. She was my, she was the book, woman who had the book I saw the picture on. And she was telling me all about the Mandalay and she was telling me about Mara and she was, and you know, part of me was really excited about going to meet them all. And part of me was really terrified that I would do something um, stupid or politically incorrect or, you know, and they what they said about Mara, that only the women could be near her. And you had, Carol said, you have to wear a skirt. She doesn't like women in pants. And I'm a tomboy, so wearing a skirt was a major, um, a major phenomenon. I had to go buy skirts to go to India. So, um, so, but what I was, and she said, and of course at RT, you're going to have to sing at Baba's tomb because you're a musician and you can't go there and not sing as part of RT. And what that started rolling forward for me was the, the understanding that every love song I had ever sung, I had sung for God. It had never been about a person I was in love with. It had, they had all been about God. And I'd been performing professionally for about 10 years at that point. Um, and it was a really beautiful insight. And then I got so excited about being able to go and sing for God at God's tomb, you know? And so uh, the, the, the long plane rides in those days, it was eight hours from here to Amsterdam, a 10 hour layover and eight more hours. So. That whole trip, I was making lists about what songs I wanted to sing for Baba at RT, and, um, and I was just getting so excited. And then um, when I checked in, Mani was at the trust office, and I introduced myself to her, and, and, um, and, uh, and she, someone had told her that I was one of the musicians from Chicago. And um, and she said, well, then you're going to go sing for Baba's Arti. And I said, oh, yes. So that we settled in. And that night I, I went up the hill for Arti and with, with planning to sing um, some of my jazzy love songs for Baba. I was so excited. And the group that gathered there that night, except for an Indian man who came out of the fields wearing just a dhoti with his children and he sang all in Indian. Everyone else, it was a bunch of British people and they were all singing church songs. And I and I thought, oh my God, I these if I sing these jazz songs, it's gonna be like totally irreverent here. And so I didn't sing and I, I came down the hill and I was so sad. And the next day I went into, uh, I went into Ahmednagar and Mani saw me and she said, oh, did you sing for Baba? Did you sing for Baba? And I totally broke down in tears. And 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 she said, "What's wrong, Trisha? What's wrong?" And I told her what happened, and I and I said that you know everybody was singing these sacred Christian church songs, and I felt like I couldn't sing my jazz; that it would be sacrilegious or it would be an insult. And Mani grabbed my face. I'm weeping and saying, "Oh!" She grabbed my cheeks and she said, "She said, well, how wonderful you're melting." And then she said, <laughs> and then she said. She wanted me to understand that in every one of us, every single one of us carried a spark of Baba. And each of those sparks was very different and very individual. And I, if I didn't live out who I was as a singer, that spark of Baba wouldn't live on the planet now. And then she said, I want you to march back up that hill and sing your songs for Baba. So I did. And what it set in motion for me was a certain kind of courage about following my gut and about even singing out more about my love for God and sometimes telling rooms full of regular concert performers that's who I was singing for. <sighs> okay, I got so far away I don't remember how to play jazz chords. <laughs> You've got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor 
heartbreak cause baby that's the story of love you got to got to give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little, baby, that's the story of love, well, you'll win a little, lose a little, and then you're gonna learn to sing the blues, but baby, that's the glory of love. Now as long as there's a few of us We won't come to no harm When the world is through with us We've got Baba So laugh, cry And learn to let those clouds roll by Because baby That's the story of love Baba, 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 As long as there's a few of us, we won't come to no harm. When the world is through with us, well, we've got Baba, so laugh. Cry and learn to let those clouds roll by because baby, that's the story of baby. That is the glory of baby. That's the story of love. Baba, 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 baba. Oh, baba, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And what a nice thing. Since I told you that story, I was sitting in front of the tomb singing that song just now. So thank you again for another gift. So the interesting, that trip was the first time uh, uh, I got to meet Mara. She was already passed by the next trip I made. But that trip, I got to meet her, and like I said, I was, I was just, I was, oh my God, I was terrified, you know, um, and, uh, and so I had, you know, the, I went to tea, and, and I met her, and, um, and she was so gentle, and my God, she was like, she was like the energy of gentleness itself, you know, um, and her love for Baba was so loud, and so present and so clear, um, and um, and then after that tea, um, I got asked to sing um, at Mondeley Hall as one of the part one of the programs. And again, I was told this is something every one, every pilgrim that's a musician gets invited to sing at Mondeley Hall one time when they're here. So, um, and they got really excited because they said Mara was going to be there. Mara was going to be there. Oh, my God. And so I was thinking, you know, what could I sing? One song, one song. What could I sing that Mara would like? And I decided on an old folk song. Um, uh, I was actually, I, I was looking for my capo and I don't seem to have it, so... So we'll see if I can do it in this key. Um, and um, and I decided on on this song, and it, it was it's about animals, and it's wonderful. And and I thought with, with who Mara is and what I knew about how she felt about the animals that she would like this song, and it's a sing along which would get everybody singing along in Mandalay Hall. So um, so this is the song I picked. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Nay, 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 nay. This 
end of the base, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to do. The old cow just goes Dogs and the cats, they pick up the middle while the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles and the donkey brays, the pony neighs, the old coyote howls. Oh! All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Listen to the top where the little birds sing on the melody with the high notes ringing while the hoot owl hollers over every. The japer disagrees. Singing in the night time, singing in the day. The little duck quacks and he's on his way. The possum, he ain't got much to say. The porcupine talks to himself. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws anything they got. It's a simple song of living sung everywhere by the ox and the fox, the grizzly bear, the grumpy alligator and the hawk above, the sly raccoon and the turtle dove. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. And Mara was singing and everybody was singing and it was so joy filled. It was so joy filled that I swear some people were like elevating, you know, in that space. And so I felt really, really good. I thought, oh, good, I did it. I did what Baba wanted me to. Mara was happy. Everybody was singing. There was joy, joy, joy. And then that evening, somebody who was sort of there and serving them, living there and serving the Mandali came to me and read me the riot act. They were so angry. They said, how could you do a silly camp song for Mara? Trisha, don't you know how who Mara is? And man, they yelled at me. And, and I left that conversation feeling just terrible. Just terrible. Because remember, I was still in this place of, 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 you know, what's the right thing to do? Is there a right thing? And so I felt so bad. And, and, and I, and I found myself rethinking whether or not to pay attention to my intuitive nudges. Because prior to that, I, I always, you know, I, if I get a strong intuition, I go with it. And it's always been the right action. But in that moment, I was filled with doubt about that voice. Maybe that wasn't the true voice. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe, 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 maybe. And then a miracle happened. I heard from Mara, she wanted me to come to tea again. And she was requesting I sing in Mondeley Hall a second time. And she wanted me to sing the Critter song again. And so, and so that just completely flipped it all around. It gave me back my trust. And then, and then this really interesting thing happened in, in getting ready to go to tea with Mara for that second time. I decided I wanted to go there early so I could spend some time on Seclusion Hill. So I brought my skirt with me and I wore my pants so I could sit on the rocks and, and I went up to the top of Seclusion Hill and I was hanging my feet off the front edge, what I thought of the front edge, sitting there hanging my feet off that front edge and singing to Baba at the top of my lungs. I was singing Mayhero and so and so um, I'm singing and my heart is so full. And then I hear the tea gong 
go off and I thought oh my god oh my god oh my god and you know if you've ever been those of you who have been to India it's quite a walk from the top of that hill back down to Maris room and so I hurried as fast as I could safely and I got back there but I was already late and I thought oh if I change my clothes I'm gonna miss the whole thing so I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna go there in my pants and I walked into the door I apologized for being late and Mara looked up at me and her eyes swept me from my crown all the way to my toes. This really, really slow. And I just thought, oh my God, I'm in so much trouble. And then, and then she said, how interesting you're dressed. And I said, yes, I'm so sorry. I, I, was, I was on Seclusion Hill. I was singing for Baba and I completely lost track of the time, Mara. I'm so sorry. I'll go change into my skirt if you want. And she said, oh no, 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 this will be fine. Trisha, always sing for Baba. You were singing for Baba. That's the most important thing. You always sing for Baba. So that became that trip and meeting those two amazing women really set the tone for who I became in this music thing, in this spirit thing, in this Baba, in this wonderful Baba life that I have. So more of Baba's words. This is from The Path of Love by Baba. Of all the forces that can best overcome all difficulties, the greatest is the force of love. Because the greatest law of God is love, which holds the key to all problems. This mighty force not only enables one to put the ideal of selfless service into practice, but also transforms one into God. It has been possible through love for man to become God, and when God becomes man, it is also due to his love for his beings. Love is dynamic in action and contagious in effect. Pure love is matchless in majesty. It has no parallel in power, and there is no darkness it cannot dispel. It is the undying flame that has set life aglow. The lasting emancipation of God, of man, sorry, the lasting emancipation of man depends upon his love for God and upon and upon God's love for one and all. When there is love, there is oneness. And in complete oneness, the infinite is realized completely. At all times and in every sphere of life, be it science, art, religion, or beauty, may the world realize this highest aspect of divinity more and more. So I'm gonna, this guitar is gonna be a little bit louder, so let me know if I need to adjust anything, okay? Um, and this is a song that is a, an old hymn. Um, you might know it if you listen to NPR, one of the shows uses it, um, but when I heard it, I thought this wants to be a blues song and I have a little more to say. So a lot of these lyrics are mine. Let me, I'm gonna have to go get my capo. I'm so sorry. No worries. Take your time, Trish. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what I did with it. It was well, all right here. Those were very touching stories. Oh, like thank you. Thank you for letting me share them with you. Yeah. I wish you'd come around a little more often. Huh? I wish you'd come and hang out with us a little more. Yes, I, I, as I'm slowly getting the hang of this technological stuff, I will. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, just leave for a second because Capo doesn't seem to be right here. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ruthie, wasn't that beautiful? Beautiful, honey. Yes. That just speaks, just speaks volumes. Takes you right back there to Mara's kitchen in the hill. Yeah, and the mandala are, are linked with the universal, you know, the, the truth itself. So any little thing that comes from them goes very deep. Yes, sir. Can change your life. And it did. Yeah. Look at us. And it changed oh. her life so beautifully. Yeah. Oh, Baba keeps changing my life. <laughs> All for the better, I know. All for the better. Yeah, it's a, he really taught me how to let go of things that no longer serve me. You know, that's always been the hardest thing for me is to, is to, is to let go. And Baba. Do, 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 do. And Baba, really, the first few years that I was with him, he took everything away. <laughs> there was one point in my life when I turned around in a complete circle and there was no longer anything there I recognized. And it was hard and it was challenging, but you know, it was never that hard again to let things go. I think this is it. Let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground where we can get a better view. If we can see this through the eyes of love. If we can see this through the eyes of love. If we can see this through the eyes of love, then we can get a better view. So let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground where we can get a better view. We can see the possibilities. We can see the possibilities. We can see the possibilities when we can get a better view. So let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground where we can get a better view. If we can see this through the eyes of love. If we can see this through the eyes of love. If we can see this through the eyes of love, then we can get a better view. So let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground. Let me take it to a higher ground where we can get a better view. Where we can get a better view. Yeah, we can get a better view. Higher ground. Let me take you to a higher ground. And Baba said, I have come to receive your love and to give you mine. And then he also said, humanity will attain a new mode of being and life through the free and unhampered interplay of pure love from heart to heart. There is no power greater than love. <clears throat> There's a power in me greater than the power in the world. There's a power in me greater than the power in the world. And there's love in me greater than the power in me. And the power in me knows there's nothing greater than love. I'm going to sing it again. There's a power in me greater than the power in the world. There's a power in me greater than the power in the world. And there's love in me greater than the power in me. And the power in me 
knows there's nothing greater than love. One more time, sing if you got it. Power in me, greater than the power in the world. There's a power in me, greater than the power in the world. And there's love in me, greater than the power in me. And the power in me knows there's nothing greater than love. Yeah. The power in me knows there's nothing greater than love. One last time. Yeah. The power in me knows there's nothing greater than love. Yeah. Yeah. So one more time. I want to use this quote one more time before this next song. This is a song that I would have written, but somebody else beat me to it. Let's see, who was that wrote this song? This was written, oh, by Ricky Byers Beckwith. Um, she's an, a, another amazing spirit woman. Um, anyway, and, um, and this is a song that I often do with uh, people in my uh, non-spirit concerts. But Baba's words it seem like it seems like they'll be really good in front of this one too. This short quote, um, playing with the capo. Okay, um, Baba's words: Humanity will attain a new mode of being and life through the free and unhampered interplay of pure love from heart to heart. There is no greater power than love. Love, love, love everybody. Love, love, love when it's hard to love. Love, our loving will change the world. Share, share, share who you are, yes. Share, share, share when it's hard to share, share. Our sharing will change the world. Sing, sing, sing all together. Sing, sing, sing when it's hard to sing, sing. Our singing will change the world. Care, care, care for each other. Care, care, care when it's hard to care, care. Our caring will change the world. First verse, one more time. Love, love, love everybody. Love, love, love when it's hard to love. Love, our loving will change the world. Sing, sing, our singing will change the world. Share, share, our sharing will change the world. Baba, thank you, Baba. This is one of my sonnets. When we become bored with desire and creation, when we lose interest in illusion's endless game, when we are no longer tethered between suffering and elation, when the question and the answer become one and the same, when the world has lost its power to elicit our reaction, when inspiration leads us forward, heart and body, soul and mind, when fantasy and empathy lose their sensual attraction, when we finally know there is no separation, there is no time, then the real adventure begins. Simply being here now, living as light, as love, holy, 
and whole, no longer enamored with who, what, where, when, how, then we cross a threshold in this journey of the soul. And in a single breathless moment, cosmically unhooking, we know what we're looking for is really what is looking. So, 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 I'm going to close things up here with a couple of songs and a couple of poems. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank you all again for giving me this opportunity to understand more of this, of the beautiful truth of my life in Baba. Um, and, you know, uh, I, I come from... Uh, Assyrian people on one side and German people on the other side and my Assyrian grandfather was Zoroastrian. My Assyrian grandmother was a Christian and grandpa on Sunday afternoons we'd gather in the little TV room in their house and grandpa would sit in the big chair and all the kids we would sit on the floor and he would tell us stories about Ram and Buddha and Krishna and Muhammad and he would tell us that it was all the same it was all the same it was all God and then he would say but don't tell your grandmother I told you this because we know how much she loves Jesus and we wouldn't want to hurt her feelings and so that I mean that kind of set the tone for me for how I grew in spirit from starting about seven years old you know and then on on the hill at Baba's tomb the uh, I don't know if it was the second trip I was there or the first one I ended up in an RT with uh, Raphael Villafane uh, Bob and Jane uh, a couple of oh Paul Burchard uh, Baba musicians um, like colleagues Baba music colleagues and um, and Rafael Villafani, who if you don't know, is a hard rock musician from Mexico, like gigantic caliber in terms of popularity. And um, he sang Danyavad. And so I got to, so when I do this song for in general concerts, which I do, um, uh, I tell them that I learned this song on top of a hill in, in the middle of the Indian countryside from a Mexican hard rock musician and it was written by a Nashville blues musician. And that was before the internet. So if you want, want to join me on this one, um, I'm going to say these <coughs> Bible words before. Um, am I saying it before? Let's see. No, I think I'll say these words after. Thank you for your patience. I need notes because if I don't have notes, we'd be here till next Tuesday. No. Okay. And then actually, short story, quick, 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 Alaba. You, are you all, you know Alaba? Alaba. I met Alaba when he came to Chicago, to the Chicago Baba Center. <clears throat> and, um, and there had been stories that preceded him about how he would just go into strangers' houses in India and nail Baba's picture to their wall. and Just about how, how passionate he was as a Baba lover. So that was what I, the stories I'd heard about him. And then he came and we were having this big public gathering and I was getting ready to sing Danyavad, introducing it the way that I always do, that I had, um, that Danyavad was, um, was a word uh, in, I think I said it was Urdu and it meant um, thank you. And that this was a song of gratitude to all the incarnations, the major incarnations of God in human form. And when I said that, Aloba jumped up from way out in the audience, just jumped up and started screaming really, really loud. No, 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 he said. Danyavad means bravo, well done. So now I know that's what it means. And now you know that's what it means. Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad. Sorry, I'm so sorry.
sorry. I'm so sorry. Baba Danyavad. Baba Danyavad. Baba Danyavad. Baba Danyavad. Oh, may hair. Danyavad, may hair. Danyavad, may hair. Danyavad, may hair. Oh, may hair. Danyavad may hair. Danyavad may hair. Danyavad may hair. Rama Danyavad. Rama Danyavad. Rama Danyavad. Rama Danyavad. Krishna Danyavad. Krishna. Danyavad, Krishna Danyavad, Krishna Danyavad. Oh, may hair, Danyavad, may hair, Danyavad, may hair, Danyavad, may hair. Oh, may hair, Danyavad, may hair, Danyavad, may hair. Danyavad Mayhair Buddha Danyavad Buddha Danyavad Buddha Danyavad Buddha Danyavad Muhammad Danyavad Muhammad Danyavad Muhammad Danyavad Muhammad Danyavad Oh, may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair. Oh, may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair. I just realized I got them out of order. Jesus came before Muhammad did because when Muhammad came, the Assyrian Church of the East sent him a letter saying, are you the one who's come for us? And Muhammad sent a letter back, said, no, I'm not here for you. Stay with Jesus. Jesus, Danyavad. Jesus Danyavad, Jesus Danyavad, Jesus Danyavad. Muhammad Danyavad, Muhammad Danyavad, Muhammad Danyavad, Muhammad Danyavad. Oh, may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair. Danyavad may hair, oh may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair, Baba, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad. Danyavad, Baba, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad. Oh, may hair, Danyavad, may hair, Danyavad, may hair, Danyavad, may hair. Oh, may hair. Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair, Danyavad may hair. Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad, Baba Danyavad. J Baba, J Baba. One more of my sonnets. 
When everywhere I look, I see God's lovely face. I know there is one path and only one desire, to follow those who've walked before me, called by grace, to surrender everything into love's illuminating fire, to release open-hearted all that I've become in order to purely, brightly burn as the light, singing, speaking, eloquent, though often I'm struck dumb in wonderment and in awe, breathless at the sight of love's sweet journey home. Never did I dream that I might live like this, as love, as light, unbound, whole and free, to gently, simply, surely be. How amazing is this? What could be more profound? After all these years of careful seeking for clarity, for answers, for peace, now I understand when love comes for love, all the questions cease. Baba's words, I love you. Do not worry about your weaknesses. Eventually, they will go. And even if they linger, love will one day consume them. Everything disappears in the ocean of love. Because I love you, you have a pool of love within you. When you feel wretched, when you fall in your weaknesses, have a dip in that pool of love. Refresh yourself in that pool of love within you. It is always there. Even if you wash your weaknesses every day in that pool, it will remain clear. Don't worry. Baba loves you. That is what really matters. I will do tomorrow what I've done today till all thy names are one. I will sing and I will pray till all thy names are one. Till all thy names are one, O Lord, till all thy names are one, I will sing and I will pray, till all thy names are one. That's going to come again several times, so sing it with me if you like. Till all thy names are one, O Lord. Till all thy names are one, I will sing and I will pray. Till all thy names are one. And to those who are mourning and to those who weep, till all thy names are one. May their hearts find compassion. May their souls find peace. Till all thy names are one. Till all thy names are one, O Lord. Till all thy names are one. I will sing and I will pray. Till all thy names are one. I know the whole world round will sing your praise when all thy names are one. On a thousand tongues it will sound the same when all thy names are one. When all thy names are one, O oh Lord, when all thy names are one, I will sing and I will pray 
When all thy names are one. One more time. Till all thy names are one, O Lord. Till all thy names are one. I will sing and I will pray. Till all thy names are one. Avatar Meher Baba Ki J. Avatar Meher Baba Ki J. Avatar Meher Baba Ki J. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you so much, Trish. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Trisha. <laughs> beautiful. Very beautiful. So touching. Thank you. Is that? Jeff and Nan out there? Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God, it's so wonderful to see your face. We're still alive. <laughs> Excellent. I miss my time at the center. I used to go to the center once or twice every year. Yeah. I can only go there in my visioning now, and I do. I walk those paths in my visioning. Yeah. Well, the, the stories you shared were so touching, and you're just all out there, you know? Isn't it great? I was coming just, right through. Thank you. I was just thinking about you and um, your version of "Far Behind" is yesterday. I I I learned that and I did it on the either the "Love That Strains the Heart" or the "Grace" CD. And um, though I, I'm pleased with how it turned out. Yours is the award-winning version. Yes. What one was it? Far behind is yesterday. Oh, far behind is yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is. So, um, I want to make an announcement. Um, I created a video for da for the Amartiti of uh, with my recorded version of Danyavad and Baba's pictures. And um, if Ooh. any of you would like my Dropbox link to that. I would like to um, uh, allow you to uh, have the viewing of it as a gift. So just email me at Trisha Baba, T-R-I-C-I-A Baba, B-A-B-A, -B -A, Trisha Baba at AOL.com and I will send you the link to that. Yeah, you know what, a son those sonnets were really beautiful, Trisha, and I I put in the chat if if you could uh, ascend it, but I'll just do all all right to you. Yes, Trisha, yes, yes. Trisha and Baba. Trisha Baba. Uh, Trisha with a C I A T R I C I A. Yeah. Yes, no, those Ash are those uh, sonnets are beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I I put a few. Uh, well, here's a, a shameless self promotion. I have several CDs in the world. I also have two books of poetry now: the Path of Love, which has the Baba quote about the Path of Love, um, uh, being filled with. Actually, is it here? It's not here anymore. Anyway, um, oh here it is: the Path of Love. Um, uh, Baba's quote, love is no game of the faint-hearted and the weak. It is born of strength and understanding. So that's, um, and my newest book, Hymns to Her, um, and um, that one, uh, uh, anyway, they're all available through me, just ask. And um, I'm, I turned 70 this May. And each of those books has a few of my sonnets in it, but I, I haven't ever released the bulk of my sonnets, and easily a third of them are for Baba. Um, and so for my 70th birthday, I'm going to launch a GoFundMe to help me get money to self-publish, and I'm going to publish my sonnets. So I'll keep you posted on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is May 30th. Oh, wow. And I will be 70 years old. And, and celebration, I have 46 finished sonnets, about 10 that are in the works. And my goal is to have 70 of them to put in that chapbook. Uh -huh. So we'll see. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, punish myself if I don't get there. But that's my goal. That's what I'm aiming for. 
so that's right your your writing is just exquisite yeah it's, it's beautiful so flowing and like jeff said it's just right there so beautiful trisha thank you yeah all gifts from him I know. yeah <laughs> And we so get that we, message from you. <laughs> oh, good. Just in case you missed it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the 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 next time that I went to India, it's a postscript on the Mara story. The next time that I went to India, Mara had passed away. She'd passed away about um like six or eight weeks prior to that trip and i happened to be one of the lucky women that they were just giving mares things to whatever women showed up mm -hmm. and i was one of the lucky women to get one of her scarves and i i i don't even have words to express how i feel about having that scarf in my possession and if I ever need to remember anything about being living breathing singing writing for Baba I put that scarf on and I just breathe with it yeah 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 lovely yeah wow. is that Michelle back again she, I've yeah. been here the whole time. Well, I know, I've, but I'm going thing. through my stock bins and straightening everything out, and I'm hoping. I mean, I've got I, you know, it's uh, kind of I don't know. I sell to a lot of galleries, and there's been big wholesale shows online. But anyway, but Trisha, that was so beautiful, and you sang the song you sang at our wedding. Love oh. is strength of heart. Oh, that was a long time ago. That yeah, awesome. congratulations. And you're still you're still together. That's fabulous. Congratulations. You two are such a wonderful couple. Yeah, we kind of beat each other up a little bit, but there you go. Well, <laughs> that happens. That's the glory of love, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glory yeah. of love. It was beautiful to hear you and I know it's yeah. so nice to have her here, you know. I keep Zoom saying, was I our gift, right? Anytime around. Anytime, anytime. Well, you know, for instance, Jeff does something every Sunday at 5.30. 5.30 your time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not okay. sure what time that is your time. I think we're an hour earlier than you. We are an hour mm -hmm. earlier. Hour yeah. Early. yeah, yeah well, we every are. Sunday we get to hang out. We talk about Darwin Shaw and read from a book and just share and it's so beautiful i just wish you were around more and well, then <clears throat> and if you come bring your your sonnets okay you oh, show yeah. up we're gonna grab you okay i'll make sure i'm prepared yep and there's always late night with jeff Wolverton after archie too if you look at the circle <laughs> of friends calendar what? Tell me that specifically, and I'll make a note here. That's Tuesday nights and Sunday nights late. So it's after RT. Jeff comes on. And what time is that? It's nine o'clock your time. Nine o'clock. And RT is at eight o'clock my time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And you should come. And it's in the morning too. It's very nice. Well, here's Good. another invitation uh -huh. on the twenty seventh uh, at noon. Michelle, myself, two guys, another woman, we do like an arty gang sing. So we have a little round robin. And then last week, Jeff and Nan came and they did a couple songs after. And then if you were there, you could bring a song or two. And Wonderful. It's, you know, it's like a little round robin, open, casual time for musicians. Oh, nice. It's fun. It's nice. nice. Okay. Good. I will. I will. Uh, I'm a real late night person, especially in this during this COVID time. Um, I rarely see noon, but I'll aim for it on the 27th. <laughs> okay. And no, it's true. Well, I'm well, off well, going to bed. I start working about 11 o'clock at night on videos and music and stuff. And then, you know, I fall asleep at 6.30 or 7. Oh, so, girl. You know, it's yeah. been, that's been the gift of this time is to just yeah. let my body do what it wants yes you know? well it sounds like a musician's life you know? <laughs> yeah i'm afraid it is That's, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, bob's you... graveyard shift 
Yes, it is, Babas. That's exactly right. Chicago, the Chicago graveyard shift of Bob. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, where, <laughs> I'm where on the Chicago you, graveyard Trisha? shift. Uh huh. Where in Wisconsin are you? I am um about uh fifteen miles north of the Illinois border. Um, not okay. quite Lake Geneva, but Lake Geneva is the closest town um i'm in a cornfields and trees and it's oh, wonderful out here it's so oh, beautiful is that? i just have to say there's a roomy line about that that's when the night worker that's when the night shift goes to work ah yeah so that's yeah so that's it oh that's a night oh thank you for the reframe that i can think of you know like i always think of Bauji is Baba's night watchman. And no. so now I'm in ba Bauji's company. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Trisha, this is Laika. Hi. I have another invitation for you or something that you might enjoy doing on Zoom, which is on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., um, the poetry group. And it's been quite nice. It's small. I don't get to make it every week, but I think you'd really enjoy it. And we share poems and sometimes the, somebody does a program of their their poems and everything. It'd be so nice um, oh, if nice. you could join that. Wednesdays 7 p.m. on 7, Wednesday. Wednesdays at 7, I'm often at a, in a meeting, a Zoom okay. meeting, but I'm making a note of it because it would be really wonderful to be a, yeah. a and giver also, and a receiver for that kind of thing. It would be wonderful to have you there and to, ha and to be able to hear some more sonnets. <laughs> And also the, um, sometimes it's recorded, sometimes it isn't, but there are some recordings of the meeting, but it's, it's always a really beautiful thing. And where are the recordings on the YouTube channel, yes. the Circle of Friends YouTube channel? Okay, yes. excellent. I I'm still kind of learning how to do all this stuff. Ruth and I had a, a short conversation about technology before the program today, and it's I'm getting there, but it's slow. Yeah, the glass is slow sometimes. Yeah, once you get the calendar and the you know and the Zoom and getting on and stuff, and and I I just check the calendar periodically, and sometimes I can make them, and sometimes I can't. But it's yeah. it's a wonderful thing. Well, this is great. I have four things. I'm really yeah. gonna aim for that round robin. So if you see me there, I might be half asleep, but I I'm gonna aim the 27th of this month. Nice. 27th, yes, ma'am. And, you know, I guess all this is to say that we all miss you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I miss all of you, too. I, we love I, you. I'm, I miss being able to be at Myrtle Beach. Any idea when the center might be open again, Jeff? None. <laughs> no, it might None, be Jeff, the end I of mean, the summer, perhaps. Wow. Well, there, there's no, yeah. nobody knows. The second. Any thoughts on youth to have us? Because Aaron is very upset. Yeah. We don't know. I, I, yeah. I, I actually thought about getting a cheap flight out there just to be able to spend the day walking the center. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. thing too, Trish, you could. The flights are sure cheap. I think um, Spirit is pretty cheap. <clears throat> they're, all, they're all pretty cheap, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> But if I got out there, then I'd need a place to stay. So is there anybody that would put me up if I came out for one day? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Absolutely. We can yeah. Start, yeah. yeah. I would. I would, Trisha. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, there you got Rosalie. Yeah, and I would, and too. <laughs> thank you. Just to be able to have my feet touch that earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and to walk that. those paths and to... Uh, have my hands touch the railings that Baba touched, and yeah. oh my God, I'm I I can't. You know, I I grew up. I was pretty pretty dysfunctional family, and um, uh, uh, I was petrified of the dark, like paralyzed when yeah. I was a kid, and so there I never felt safe in the woods alone, and the Baba Center is the only place on earth. Mm -hmm. that I, I used to go sit at that bench that's on the, the upper lake path that looks out over the yeah. lake, and I would sit on that picnic table with my eyes closed, mm -hmm. feeling <laughs> safe 
and and I would and I would practice listening for sounds, you know. And I got to be able to rec. Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh, that's a bird. Oh, that's a deer. Oh, that's a person. Um, and um, and that's I miss being able to just go be with the trees all alone and Baba's energy and all of your energy. So yeah. I'm holding a vision for it to open again. Open. Me open. and Myrtle Beach feel the same way. <laughs> yeah. You are you able to get there? Is it open for days it's now? Open, you... It's open to be able to go on um, and take a walk, and which you know is it's just. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing like it. Wonderful. But, well, say hello uh, for me, would you? <laughs> I will, I will. When you go, just tell the trees that Trisha said hello. I will, I'll remind Wait, them. Song? Huh? I said there's a song right there. Yeah. Maybe. Tell the trees that Trisha said hello. Yeah. <laughs> my, favorite oh, thing, oh. my favorite thing to do would be to go and sit on the steps of the boathouse. Oh yeah, the Definitely. on the steps, um, just above the water, yeah. with a cup of tea and watch the night come. Yeah, there's first the little the turtle water. heads popping out of the water, and then the blackbirds all gathering like crazy in the swamp reeds, yeah. and then the bats would come out, and then it would get too dark to see. And um, it never looked the same. Bass would jump out of the water and go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. Don't forget Billy Bass. We have Lake uh, Life. Yeah. Long yeah, say now. hi to the lake yeah. for me, too. That would be great. I will, Trisha. Tell him I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> will do. Thank yeah, you that, so view, much. that view there never looks the same, either. I have for the, the hundreds of times that I've sat in that exact spot and just mm -hmm. taken it all in, it never looks the same. It's yes, yes. So beautiful. Well, I think I'm going to be on my way, gentle and wonderful people. Oh, thank you, for you. Thank you for these four things. I'm going to put them in my calendar. Good. And Very I look good. forward to seeing you all there again and doing another program here sometime in the future. And Ruth, thank you for your help. Thank you for the YouTube link that's coming. And do you also copy the chats and send them? Are you the one that yeah. does that? That would be yeah. great because I never read the chats while I'm actually doing concerts. It's too small. I have to get like this far away to see it. Oh, you know? I, I hear that. So yeah, we'll take them. Wonderful. And let me know all if you want the link. Um, if you want copies of the sonnets I did today, the link to Danyavad. And have a wonderful Baba life. You too, Trish. Tea, Bob, Bob, everyone. Bye. Bye, Trisha. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 I missed most of it. I'm glad you recorded it. I thought, it, I, I don't know. I, the time today has been, I've been totally off on it. Yeah, but anyway.